love home decor and I really enjoy changing my decor every single season but that can be a little bit expensive and one way that you can do it on a budget is to DIY your own decoration and you can do expensive decor pieces using only Dollar Tree items and in today's video I put together 10 ways that you can achieve that goal I hope that you're ready let's do it together Okay guys, let's get started with this project by cleaning all of the mess, all of the things that I have in my laundry room. I know I had a big mess. I have all of my dog stuff too. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to clean all of that and then I'm going to start measuring. I need to measure the length and the width of my shelf because I'm going to be doing like a small makeover on this. For that, I'm going to be using this big and giant piece of cardboard that I have at home. Um, I get it from um, a sofa that I bought on Ikea. So I'm going to be using these to be able to create my shelf. I'm going to measure and then make lines to be able to cut these as straight as possible and with the measurements that I need for my shelf. I'm going to be cutting these very easy using these um, tool that I get. It's from Cricut, but you can also use a knife and you, and you can use a piece of cardboard that you have at home or maybe you can use a few pieces of foam board that you can get from Dollar Tree. Once you have your cardboard cut, I'm going to be covering these with these. Um, it's like a contact paper that you can get from Dollar Tree. You can find these on the kitchen section. Um, so I'm going to be using these to cover the whole cardboard. And this is going to give it like a wooden look. Um, it's super easy to do. And I'm going to be removing all of the air bubbles that has with these tool from Cricut. But you can use maybe like a debit card or something like that. Um, to make sure that it's not going to have any air bubbles and because this is super and extra long I'm going to be using two rolls to cover my cardboard make sure that you fold all of the sides um, to the inside of the cardboard and then I need these um, to have like a base and then in something to cover the front of the shelf so I make sure that I fold my piece of cardboard too to have that shelf um, look and then I just add a little bit of hot glue to make sure that um, it stays in the shape that I want to Then I just have to add that on the top of the shelf that I have in my laundry room. It fits perfect. It cost me only $2 to do it and it looks amazing. For this next project, I'm going to be using these chains from Dollar Tree and you can always get them on Halloween um, and I really like them. I always used to get a few to different projects during the year. Um, so I'm going to be separating them. They are plastic, so I'm going to separate them and then I'm going to add this small piece of wire to be able to hang them on a hanger um, to be able to paint them with these spray paint in metallic gold color. Once they are dry, I'm going to remove the piece of wire and this is how they are going to look. Then I want to change the color. I want them to be more of like a antique brass color instead of that metallic gold. So for that, I'm going to be using my Waverly wax in antique color and I'm going to add these like creating so many spots all over the chains and then I'm going to let them dry and for that you can use your heat tool is going to make the process so much faster 
and once the paint is dry you can put all the chains together and this is how they're going to look this is a very easy project to do at home they're going to have a high-end look with this antique brass color and they are perfect to decorate any surface maybe on the top of the books or inside of a bowl and this is going to add a really nice touch to any space For the next project, I'm going to be using two photo frames from Dollar Tree, two in different sizes and I'm going to be using these specific ones because they are gold, you can use um, any gold um, photo frame that you found or maybe that you have and you can reuse. The first thing I'm going to be doing is remove um, the paper, the cardboard and the glass that these picture frames has and then I'm going to be removing those small like pieces of wire that has on the back side that helps to um hold the picture once i have that part ready i'm going to be painting these two photo frames and for that i'm going to be using my overly shock paint in black color and i'm going to be using a brush and i'm going to be painting the frames but leaving small parts with that gold color that the frame already has This is going to add a really nice touch and a high-end look to the frames and I love to do this technique. You can do the same, maybe if you don't have the gold frames, you can paint any um, picture frame that you had. Um, you can paint it black and then use some gold paint on the top to create the same painting technique. And I'm going to be doing the same with the two frames that I have and then I'm going to let them dry. Next, I'm going to be adding some of these E6000 glue. This glue is extremely strong, so I'm going to be adding that to the edges to be able to stick the glass. Next, I'm going to be using these flowers that I made with my Cricut in green vinyl color. You can use any sticker that you have and that you like. Maybe you can paint something yourself with paint or you can use a stencil. I'm going to be adding this beautiful decal on the front of the glass and then I'm going to be removing the transfer tape. I did the same with both of the picture frames but I add a different flower to each one and then you can add a tooth hanger or any rope on the back just to be able to hang these picture frames on the wall and this is how my project turned out. It's super easy to do and it has a high-end look. For this next project, I'm going to be using one of these candle holders from Dollar Tree. You can use any one that you have at home. And also, I'm going to be using this container with lead that you can get on the kitchen section at Dollar Tree. I really like this container. I love the shape it has. And what I'm going to be doing is to stick these two pieces together with hot glue. Um, maybe you can use um, a stronger glue like E6000 to make sure that it's going to stick well. Once I have my piece all stick together and it's dry, I'm going to be using my spray paint. And again, I'm going to be using this true navy color. I really like this color. I think it's now perfect for summer. Um, and you can use it now too for fall if you want. Um, so yeah, I'm going to spray paint this outside. I'm going to give it one or two coats of paint and then I'm going to let it dry. Once that it's dry, it's all about you. You can um, decorate it as you want. I'm going to be using some Spanish moss and I'm going to add that on the bottom. And then I'm going to be using these olive branches that you can get from Amazon. Guys, you can use maybe flowers, any greenery that you have. I just think the olives branches looks amazing and they're so trendy right now. And I got mine from Amazon. I think it was the best deal I can find. And of course, I'm going to leave you the link of that in the description box. In in case you want or need some olive branches. 
guys this is how my project turned out really beautiful on a budget it looks amazing and it's perfect for your kitchen or maybe your dining table For this next project, I'm going to be using these baskets that I got from Dollar Tree and they come in different colors and, and shapes. I got this one that has a dot base in a square shape and I love them and I love this natural color of the basket and what I'm going to be doing is super simple. I'm just going to be adding some hot glue on the bottom part and I'm going to stick um, both of the baskets together. Next, you can add this gloss crystal clear um, spray paint. This is the, going to add just like a glossy finish. My goal with the spray paint was to make um, the baskets a little bit darker, but I don't know if I've achieved that goal. Maybe just a little bit. Anyways, you can add any paint. You can maybe can create a design to the baskets with some tape and paint. Um, you have so many options. I just decided to leave it simple. And next, it's time to add any greenery flower anything that you want and you like to these baskets I decide to use these foliage from Dollar Tree and I have been using these a lot recently because they're so beautiful they comes with so many stems um, and they look so full on any vase or any basket and I love them so I decide to add three of these inside um, and I add these to my living room this is how my project turned out and I love it I think it looks so beautiful so high end but it was so extremely easy to create maybe if you add more baskets and make this a little bit higher it could look amazing and like I said you can add more color any pattern that you like and make these amazing plant stand look awesome on any space um, using only Dollar Tree baskets Gates. For this next project, I'm going to be using this Easter basket that I get from Dollar Tree. And I know it has so many colors, it's not my style. But what I really like about these baskets is the oval shape that it has. So I'm going to be using this basket for this next project. And the first thing I did was to cut the handles because I don't need that. Once I cut the handle of my basket, I decide to paint and cover all those colors using my spray paint in ultra matte black color with about like two or three coats to make sure that I cover all the colors of the basket. Once the paint is dry, I'm going to be using this leather, faux leather ribbon that I get from Dollar Tree and I really like this ribbon. I have been using these in so many other projects and I decide to basically create like two small handles on this basket um, that is going to add a really nice touch and is going to make these look so much better with a high-end look and it's going to add more texture and um, color to this project. Once I stick the two pieces of ribbon on my basket, this is how they look and I stick them with hot glue because it's going to dry so much faster. Okay, next I decide to add another small touch to the basket and that was to stick these wooden beads on the bottom of the basket. This is going to add some height to the basket and it's going to give it a nice touch. And this is how this project turned out. It was super simple. I just put some plants inside of the basket. You can add maybe um, some flowers or you can use these for the bathroom and add two toilet papers. I think they can fit perfectly on this basket. Um, and this is how my project turned out. So inexpensive and so much fun to do.
for this next project I'm going to be using this canvas um, that I get from Five Below this come in a set of two this one is the 16 by 20 inches I think they are on a really good price and it's super big and you can create so many wall pieces with this canvas now I'm going to be using one and I'm going to be removing all of the staples that has on the back on the wood piece and for that I love love to use my staple remover um, I get this from Amazon it works so good and it makes this process so much easier and faster um, so just in case I'm going to leave you the link of this piece on my Amazon store and also on on the description box So once I remove the staples, I'm going to be removing the canvas fabric because for the moment, I'm going to be working only with the wood frame. Now, I'm going to stain these. You can use maybe any stain or any paint that you like. I'm going to be using my Rovoli Wax in Antique color. I'm going to give it one coat of paint and then let it dry. Once it is dry, I always like to sand all of the edges and this is going to give it like a more kind of like rustic look to it. And I really like to do that, so I'm going to be doing it on all of the edges of my frame. And of course, I'm going to be cleaning everything with my mini Ladybug vacuum. From there, I'm going to be working with the canvas fabric and I'm going to be cutting all of the folded edges that it has. Next, I'm going to be adding these um, canvas fabric again um, on my wooden piece, on my wood frame. And for that, I'm going to be using my stapler and I get these from Amazon and it works so good. If you like to do crafts um, and DIYs, you definitely need one of these. So I'm going to leave you the link in the description box. So I'm going to be adding the canvas fabric on the back side of the wood frame and stick that with the staples trying and making sure that my canvas looks as straight as possible and as you can see the canvas um, has a small hole that I did um, it was my fault but that's okay I'm going to be covering that in just a moment now that my frame is ready I'm going to be working with puzzles you can get these from Dollar Tree and they come in different sizes um, I get this one that is a 48 pieces so what I'm going to be doing is to paint these and for that I'm going to be using these navy color I'm going to spray paint these outside I think it's so much faster paint all of these pieces using spray paint but you can use maybe um, any shock paint or any color that you like and you have Once I spray paint these outside, I let them dry and this is how they look. And now what we need to do is just start sticking all of these pieces on my um, canvas. But I'm going to be doing these, not trying to make the puzzle. I'm just going to be gluing them in like different directions. I want these to look a little bit messy on my frame. And I'm going to be sticking more puzzle pieces on the bottom than on the top. I don't want to cover this whole art piece um, with the puzzle. I just want to create the effect that they are like falling down and I think um, it's going to look super cute this way but if you want you can um, cover the whole piece with the puzzles maybe you need more packages of puzzle but that depends on what or how you like it Okay, once I stick all my puzzle pieces, um, I'm going to be adding like a small tooth hanger or maybe you can add a piece of rope on the back side just to be able to hang your wall art piece. Once I was done guys, this is how my project turned out and I really like it. I think it looks so interesting. It's perfect for an office or a kid's bathroom. I think it looks super cute and you can paint the puzzles any color you want.
with the next project I'm gonna try to recreate this faux olive leaf potted plant from this new collection and I think it's so cute so I'm gonna try to recreate these using this vase that I have for a really long time I love the shape it has I don't like the color so I'm gonna try to make these um, look like wood I'm going to be using this contact paper from Dollar Tree and I have been doing this technique so many times and I think it's so amazing I'm going to be sticking this contact paper on my vase but because it's not like straight it has this type of shape that I love but it's kind of tricky when you work with contact paper to make it look straight so for that you're going to need some heat and I'm going to be using my heat tool this is the key for this project I'm going to be adding the heat on the contact paper just for a small amount of time and it's going to make the process so much easier because the heat on the contact paper is going to to um, make the contact paper stretch and that way it's going to be so much easier to add and form the shape of the vase that you have without any marks or bubbles or anything like that and trust me it's so easy it's going to take you some time to kind of figure out how to work with these but I really like it and it turned out amazing it looks like a wood base and of course the link of the heat tool is going to be in the description box and on my Amazon favorites and make sure that you cut all of the excess of contact paper that you may have on top and like inside of the vase and on the bottom of the vase you don't need to cover the whole inside of the vase don't worry about that because we're going to be covering that in just a second Once you have your vase ready, I'm going to be adding some stones to give some weight and then I'm going to be adding some moss on top to cover them. I like I prefer moss and stones so yeah that's what I did that and then I'm going to be using some olive branches of course um, and I got this from Amazon too that have the best quality and the best price and um, this is just like some really small branches from a really big branch that you can get in the package so I just cut some pieces and I'm going to be adding them inside of the planter and this is how my project turned out super easy it looks amazing you can do it and make it a little bit bigger with longer branches and I want you guys to let me know if you have tried this technique before working with a heat tool and contact paper um, I think it's so cool so let me know in the comments if you have tried this technique and if not make sure that you check the links to get your heat tool now because you're not going to have regrets on that For the next project I'm going to be using this small clear vase that you can get from Dollar Tree um, and I decide to give it a really nice touch now I'm going to be adding this blue tape that you can also get at Dollar Tree and I'm going to make like a shape It's going to look like a V or something like that you can form anything that you want that you like on your vase and you can use this vase or anyone that you have at home actually to make this DIY now what I want to do is give it a coat of paint with my spray paint in metallic gold color um, so I did that I went outside I give it one coat of this paint and then I let it dry now I think I did like a mistake because this DIY doesn't turn out like I want to because my idea was to give it a second coat of this black spray paint but I don't know why when I leave this outside and I let it dry it turned out up looking like this I don't know why I did wrong maybe it was because of the gold spray color that was not dry at all I have no idea but it turned out up looking like this and actually I really like it so maybe that's one tip or something that you can create maybe it's because of the metallic gold that I paint first and it was not, and it was not dry when I give it the second coat with the black one I'm not sure but this is how the project turned out and uh, guys I really like it I think it looks very unique and with a high-end look so let me know if you like it and if you have done any painting technique with spray paint that ended up looking like this um, but I don't know I actually like it and I think it turned out great For this 
this next project, I'm going to be using these black candle holders that I get from Dollar Tree. They have candle holders in different shapes um, and colors. I decided to get this one and I'm going to be putting two together to make like a taller um, candle holder. And I'm going to be adding E6000 and hot glue to be able to stick them together and make sure that they are going to stay strong attached. Now, as you can see where the candle holders join, you can see a few gaps and you can fill them maybe with some sparkling I decide to use hot glue to fill those gaps with the hot glue it's not going to look perfect but it doesn't matter because I'm going to paint these and you're not gonna be able to see that I'm going to be using these Weberly shock paint in hazelnut color and I'm going to paint these two candle holders. I'm going to be using two, one that is the taller one that has the two candle holders and the other one I'm going to be using just one. Like I said, I'm going to paint them. I'm going to give it two coats of paint in this color just to make sure that it's going to cover well. Once I paint my candle holders, I'm going to be using my Weberly shock paint in plaster color and I'm going to be using these type of brushes. I'm going to add just a small amount of paint on my brush and I'm going to be making like the dry brush technique on my candle holders and this is going to add a distressed look to them. Once I was done painting my candle holders, this is how they look and I love them. Now it is time to add these glass tea light holders that I get from Dollar Tree. I love them. They look like, like a milk vase. I think they are new and I really like them. So, so I'm going to be removing all the stickers and I'm going to add a small dot of glue um, and I'm going to glue them to the top of my candle holders. Now you can add a candle inside of these tea light holders, but I decide to add this greenery. I just love it so much. So I'm going to be adding these one longer than the other one, depending on how long my candle holders are. And this is how my project turned out. I love how it looks. Um, you can make a set of two like I did, or maybe a set of three. These type of candle holders can cost a lot and you can do it using Dollar Tree items. I just spent like $5 to make these DIYs because I already have the paint. My loves, I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you like these 10 ways to DIY your own home decor pieces on a budget using Dollar Tree items. You give me a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments which of these 10 ideas is one of your favorites. Make sure that you are subscribed and make sure that you check my other channel just on my home we post a new video. So make sure that you check that, the link is going to be in the description box and thank you so much for all of the love and support see you on my next video Mwah. bye guys